Hey everyone, it's Mike Valtos and welcome to this presentation, special presentation on Order Flows Trader with Ninja Trader 8. Again, this presentation's got nothing to do. I've got no association with Ninja Trader. Uh, my software runs on Ninja Trader. And you know, Ninja Trader 8 version of Order Flows Trader is available. It's been available, but I don't actively push it. But it has been available. I've had users using it for since last year actually. Um, and you know, it's uh, today I want to show you this because me personally, I'm making that switch over to uh, Ninja Trader 8. Um, on a I'm on a permanent uh, blah, blah, on a permanent basis. You know, my trading room has been down this week. Um, it'll probably be down the rest of this week. So I've I've taken this opportunity to um, spend the time. I spent about uh, since since the European Open. I've been messing around, actively really using it, getting to know it inside and out. Um, Ninja Trader Eight, and I think you should too if you're not already using it now. Before I go any further, uh, go through the disclaimer. This presentation is that for educational and informational purposes only should not be considered a solicitation to buy or sell a futures contract or make any other type of investment decision. Futures trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that could be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, so let's take a look. This is the how the chart looks on Ninja Trader 8, NT8, um, the order flows chart. Okay, and you know, there's some interesting things they got going on here. And you can have this thing they call here the chart trader on the side. If you don't want it, you just go up here to properties. Um, you can take it out. You, know, you can turn it off and apply. It's gone. You know, for for trading purposes, you know, you probably want to have it on. Honestly, I wish, I wish, what I really wish, <laughs> um, I'm not going to get, is I wish they had something that you can adjust the, uh, or maybe there is, and, uh, you know, where you can adjust what you want to put in here. You know, I, I don't necessarily care for buy at market, buy on the ask, buy on the bid, uh, buying the bid, selling you know, selling the ask, I do like those, but, uh, you know, I, I just wish you can sort of define what you want to look up, look at on here. So, um, you know, anyway, this is the chart. So you go, okay, here, just go over some of these things here. So like this one, indicators, right? If you want to add an indicator to your um, Ninja Trader 8, well, assuming you've already imported it, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, you'd, you'd click on this thing that says indicators, and it, it looks like the old NT7 one, right? They got the the standard, um, you know, indicators like here. I don't have current open day, high, low, close. You know, if I want it, I can just add it there. Click apply. And it'll come up. You know, it'll take a while. It's got to go through all the data again, but it's pretty, generally pretty quick. <coughs> Time I can drink my coffee. Ba, 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 ba. And of course, it doesn't work. No, there it is. <laughs> a little bit slow uh, today. I got a lot of sh stuff running on this PC at the moment. I said, you know, I'm not, I'm just, I'm in my own. Uh, beta testing mode. I say beta testing. I got a lot of stuff I'm working on right now. So I got a ton of stuff opened up on this thing. That's why it's a little bit slow. But again, you know, here it is. So you add it up. You can see the order flow footprint chart is the same. The numbers are all the same. That's one of the differences. The big difference between NT7 and NT8 is the way it handles the data. It's light years ahead. NT8 is versus NT7, which is a good thing. And so when you reopen a chart, the data is the same. Delta, everything is the same. And, you know, whatever indicators you had earlier are still there. Um, it doesn't it doesn't disappear on you and start over, which is nice. Now, the big thing is okay with that with that in mind. Um, you have excuse me, I had this darn cold again. And I'm sitting here in the Philippines and it's just killing me. I you know I lived in Singapore for t close to ten years, and it w I wasn't as sick. I hear it's every other month I'm sick, um, and it's really because it's so hot and I'm in and out, you know, kind of taking the kids to school and not. So I'm in an air conditioned car and into a building, you know, outside in a 32 degree temperature, 35 degree temperature. 
that it's just taking its toll on me. But anyway, I digress. I mean, that's why you know, I sound like, like I'm getting the sniffles again. It's because of that. It's the data, right? Okay, you have to do a couple of things. You have to save, click the enablement to save the data. Where is it? I the wrong thing. It's under tools. So this is your, your main Ninja Trader uh, workspace right here. Okay. What you do, you go to tools, options, things, options, market data. Make sure, it's very important, make sure this show tick replay is enabled. There's a tick there, right? If you don't have that enabled, it won't save the data properly. Okay, once that's done, you, you know, when you have a chart open, I think it's click properties of the chart. It's always good to check, make sure, you know, these charts are saving it as well. You know, and from time to time, you should always, you know, check it, you know, just as good practice. That's not it. Uh, oh, here, data series. Go here, tick replay, make sure this is enabled as well. Okay, I mean, doing it under the tools, it should be global, but, you know, sometimes these things, you think you're doing it and it's applying it to every chart. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, like here, this is my uh, bond chart. Go to the properties, or sorry, the data series here. There, see, it's ticked, right? So that way, if I reopen the chart or I open a new chart, um, you know, all all the stuff should print properly. Um, that's that's the big change in, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> in uh, Ninja Trader 8 that um, a lot of people like. You know, see, see here, I got the same indicators. You know, the ratios are there. The blue color ones are the nice ones. <coughs> Delta scalper giving you the buy here, the buy here. Um, point of control trader, you know, when the point of controls are in the extremes, up here, up here. This red one is, is something else. Don't worry about that. Um, stacked imbalances, you can see it in here. You can actually go to this thing up here, display. You could show what you want to display. Now, the way to change things like uh, the fonts. Say you want to make the, say you don't like the size of this font, right? This is my template. I'll just open up uh, the indicator and go inside and manually change them. You go here, where is it? Order flows trader. Okay. Now there's a couple of things you got to change, right? You got to change the font here. Um, so, you know, say you want to make it bigger. Let's make it 14. Okay. Now, you also, what you also have to change, of course, is the font for, this is for the bottom part here. The, I can't, I'm trying to point on my screen, but you can't see. It's this area down here. So if you're going to make this, say, 14, you know, you also probably want to make uh, this stuff here. You got to click here, right? This is the thing. You can't, you don't click here. You click where the arrow is. Um, make that 14 as well. And the other thing is also the imbalances. Okay, volume imbalance because like you see imbalances here. If you don't if you just change the, the regular numbers, it just you know these numbers, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll click apply. Volume imbalance numbers are the different numbers here, as you'll see as, as the chart refreshes. I didn't change the volume imbalance. That's why you see it's a bit smaller here, right? Because I didn't change those. You see here now the delta, right? That that made it bigger down here. This is the uh, summary content which is down here. And to change the size of the imbalances, I just go down here, volume imbalance font, and I, I change it also to uh, same size, 14. You can actually set it to 15, one, one little tick higher. Won't kill you because it's an imbalance. You, know, you want it to attract your eyes. <clears throat> okay, so there. So you see, it's, you know, it's bigger, it's a little bit more readable. You know, you can open up the chart, you click there and hold it, you know, you go back and forth. Um, this is the imbalance stack. You got a stacked imbalance here. You know, right here, 41, 15, 33, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. Now, you know, one of the other things that we've, we've actually put in this um, software, I didn't put it in, my programmer did, and he's like, hey, it's there for you. Is when you get more than uh, one imbalance, one I say not more than one. When you get multiple imbalances in a bar, like you know that not, aren't necessarily stacked on each other. Like here, you got well this one again. You know, I, you know what? I don't have a bigger size font size. That's just the bar chart here. But you can see it here, right? 
you have three imbalances, you got a stacked imbalance, you've got multiple imbalances, so it draws a box around it. I th you know, this is a bond, so th there really wasn't that much here. You got three as well. Um, it's a nice, you know, it's a nice little sign. And here you can see it. This is the DAX chart. <sighs> yeah, here you got, uh, I, sh I should sorry. I'll just make these bigger so you could see it. Uh, I, I should have prepared it a bit more, but again, like I said, you know, I, I saved my templates. You know, the, the the big difference between Sierra charts and Ninja Trader is Sierra charts. I go down the rabbit hole, changing my templates, and the whole thing's all messed up completely. And I got it later. I got to start over again. Um, Ninja Trader is it's a bit easier for me to recover if if I make mistakes on my my templates, which you know I I, I like that because. Sometimes I get really creative, you know, and it's, you know, if you know, if you're familiar with Sierra charts, they offer so much things to put on a chart that, you know, sometimes I start adding stuff, adding stuff, adding stuff that I've, by the time my chart's done, it's like, it looks completely opposite of, of what I was expecting. And it's just all messed up. And then I literally got to start over again. But, you know, Ninja Trader is a bit better in that sense. So here, right, you got three imbalances here. Got multiples here, one, two, three, one, two, three. These are not stacked imbalances. They're just m multiple imbalances, you know, in the same direction. And it's, it's actually a nice little directional clue on what the market's doing. You know, it's nice to get them, especially when, you know, you see them with, uh, you know, other, other indicators like, like the Delta scalper. So, you know, you've got, you know, strong negative Delta. You got multiple imbalances in the bar. You got a sell signal. You know that that's what you like to get. You know signs like that. I mean, it doesn't always appear, but uh, I mean, where they coincide. But when they do, you know, you can. You know, I, I know people like to say, "Oh, you got you know, all these imbalances. You got a ratio. You've got you know the delta scalper. Uh, you know, and they they just want to pile in. So you know, you got you got a lot going on in this bar that you know should be telling you to get long so this is a delta scalper giving you a nice buy up here is a delta scalper giving you a nice sell now the one difference between um ninja trader 7 and ninja trader 8 is dealing with the ratios it's a slight difference you'll see here minus infinity when you have a zero print on the bottom of a green bar or if it was on a zero print on the top of a red bar i don't know if there was one here it would say infinity. It will say infinity. Um, just, you know, just, just, you know, there's two different types of zero prints, right? There's a zero here because it's in the second spot, but it'll say infinity if it's right on the, the extreme of the bar on the top of a red bar. I don't think there was one here this morning. Oh, uh, here's, here's one. So, right, infinity, I N F. It's all zeros. You had a number, something coming out at that time. Um, so that, that's it. In case you're wondering why it says, INF that is, stands for infinity and you know that's why that's why it does that we, we tried as we might we couldn't get it to change but uh, you know anyway it's, it's not the end of the world I mean still you know it's still printing blue color which again is, is what you really want to be paying attention to so you know the, the thing that's really been frustrating for me though is setting up the instruments it's you know, being an Ninja Trader, sometimes, you know, some things are very easy and sometimes things are very hard. Instrument lists, it's kind of nice. You could have an instrument list right here, right? If I want to open up stuff, you know, mics, it's empty. But, uh, you know, I, I use this one, Futures. I've got all my updated contracts in here. And, you know, you could just add them in there. It's not it's not necessarily the easiest thing, but, you know, I'll show you how I do it. You know, because I, I spent uh, some time trying to figure it out because, you know, the way they say it works doesn't really work. Uh, I forgot what it is. Instruments here. Okay. No. Instrument lists. For example, here. Okay, so we'll do this one, mics, right? These are all messed up symbols. CL. Okay, so here. Let's uh, add something. We'll call it, uh, what do you want to add? Bun, uh, it's ES. Okay, here. E boom. Hey, I got ES. Well, you don't really have the, the right ES. You know, they're like, well, you got to click on it. I click on it. I get this. Expiry, which is gray. I can't click on it. I get exchange. Default. New York Stock Exchange, that's not the one that I want. I want the E-mini S&P. Okay, so, you know, it's like I got to click here, edit, edit, cancel, edit, add, cancel. So I click on there, add, then I hit, watch this, hit escape. Now it comes up the instruments for me to, to add. And then I could just uh, scroll down and find the E-S here. 
and boom, there I got it. I could uh, I could remove that, right? I could remove CL, FGB. Uh, I'll just show you another one. It's just one of those things. Um, how sad. I, I I don't I don't know how else to explain it. Let's let's pick another contract. Uh, something I don't have up. Work with me, people. Uh, what's a contract? Soy meal. ZM. Soy meal. I like soy meal. ZM. Well, this this thing isn't going to do me any good. I need the one with the month on it. Um, edit. Nothing again. I get that same stupid thing. You know. Edit. No. Add. Okay. Close that down. I get this up. So then I just type in ZM. Soy meal futures. There, it's got this one, but I don't want that one. I actually want the, uh, I don't know if I want that. Well, I'll go with Dece meal. It's probably a better contract to trade at this point. Um, and that's it, you know. So, yeah, what I can do now is, well, actually, I want to, I should, I, this is my main one. So here, I'll add ZM. I wish that you would just pull it up, right? But instead, it pulls it up like this, which is kind of useless. Here, ZM again. It just it's just kind of frustrating. It's just something that you know. It's, it's one of those things you're just clicking around, and then you get it, and then you find it, right? Um, okay, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, you know, to learn more about order flows and how you could use it in your trading or the Delta Scalper, be sure to visit my websites, orderflows.com and deltascalper.com. So thanks. I hope you found this video a little bit enlightening. And if you're not on NT8, you know, think about making the switch. All right. So thanks, guys, and have a great day.